Hi, my name is Travis Ficrell. Hello, my name is Tara. I'm 12 years old. Hello, my name is Jillian Paula Navarro. Hello, I'm Raymond Nicholas. I'm 23 and I also just got engaged. I feel loved the most by my mom and dad when they spend quality time with me and show interest in the things I love. It makes me feel loved and cared for all of the time. I know na mahal na mahal ako ni mama at ni papa. They always support me, always. I feel the most loved by getting care, doing things I don't need to ask for, and doing things that I ask for, like the most simplest thing without like, well, I ask my mom to bake me a cake to my birthday, you know, that's the, the way I most love her. I feel most loved by my mom and dad when they would talk to us, especially when they would sit us down, bring us on dates to really get to know us in a personal level because we get busy in life. Like for me, I could be busy with schooling or with work or they get busy with work, but they would always find time to set up a lunch with us, set up dinner or just a quick coffee to know what's in our lives and it makes me feel loved to know that they care about what's happening in my life. When I become a dad, what I would do is I want to also express uh, that same love to show my children that I also care about their lives, that I care about what they're going through. I would want to show them that. I want to show them that they're not alone in whatever that they're going through. And to show them, especially as a kid, that same love that God the Father has for us because um, as a baby, they might not understand who God is yet, but at least they can feel that same love from me when I am a father. I want to build them in a household that knows only love and nothing of pain or anger or anything like that. Pag father na ako, i-apply ko ang mga natutunan ko na galing sa Wisdom Church of Manila. One thing na important sa akin is pag having life with Jesus and sa parents ko and ganun din sa anak nila. I do the same thing as my mother did. Like, alagaan niya ako na mabuti. Tuturuan niya ako mabuti. At tuturuan ko siya paano gumawa ng kung ano kailangan niyang gawin sa sarili niya. When I become a mom, I will make sure to listen to my child and I will encourage their curiosity and creativity. And of course, I will always teach them the, the word of God. The best thing about being the child of my mom and dad is that I can always talk to them about anything, knowing that they will always support me in everything I do. The best thing for me is that I can know that I can always run to them with no matter what the situation is, and also that their guidance and that their advice is also centered on God. This usually happens like if I'm having struggle with my personal convictions or just maybe financially with work or with anything really, I can just go to them uh, without any fear because even before they were pastors they've always built that household where I can always go to them I don't have to be afraid of anything that I can open my heart to them and I can know that they would still love me they would accept me that there's no judgment or anything like that and I never feel like I have to be anyone except for myself I can be myself around them and I can always run to them Favorite memory ko with dad and mom is yung nag-outing po kami sa beach. My favorite memories are nag-joyride kami kung saan saan. So punta kami ng forests, ma nature, waterfalls, and rivers. And we have this very memorable thing together. Lahat kami magpamilya. My favorite memory with my mom is when she'd help me study with school and stuff. And my favorite memory with my dad is when we'd go jogging. I would say my favorite memory it's a combination of a lot of memories but mostly whenever we would go out and sit down and talk uh, with me and my parents sometimes it would be about life decisions sometimes it's just them asking how's my how life is for me but all those times and it's something that we would do like maybe four times a year that we would have a sit down with my parents it's my favorite memory because that's where big life decisions are made and I'm glad that I'm able to have that guidance and love to make those decisions uh, with them.
Mahal na mahal ko kayo. Sorry for lahat ng ginawa ko sa sama as a child or growing up. Lahat ng sa sama ko ginawa. I apologize. I love them with all my heart. Kahit malayo si mama kasi madami na ako suporta sa akin. Andiyan naman lagi si papa na lab na lab ako. I just like tell them that I appreciate everything they've done for me and that I am so blessed to have them as parents and I am thankful for God for giving them to me. I would like to tell my parents that first thank you for the way that you raised me. Thank you that you've always created a household where I didn't have to think of where's my mom and dad that I can always run to you guys. Thank you that you've made an environment where I can feel loved and heard without having to pretend like I am someone else. I hope you know that uh, you are really amazing parents really really amazing and it would it shapes the way that I would also want to raise my kids in the future and I'm just thankful that you guys have always been there to support me in everything